All right, welcome. We'll get started in just a second. Just want to make sure people can get into the webinar. Okay, we will go ahead and get started. Welcome everyone to the Virtual College Exploration for All Illinois Students, which is hosted by the Illinois Association for College Admission Counseling and by StriveScan. Just a few housekeeping announcements before we get started. This is a webinar, so your camera and microphone are off, uh, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. So if you do have questions, use the Q&A button to type your questions to the presenters at any time. If you need a refresher, this presentation will be recorded and available in about a week at IACAC.org. And you can also sign up for more sessions at IACAC.org. And with that, I will go ahead and stop sharing my screen and I will pass it over to our presenters. Great. Thanks so much. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm just going to share my screen quickly with you, get my presentation up. All right. So um, first of all, thanks for joining us today. Um, I hope that uh, you find the session informative um, and helpful. I'll try to speak for about 30 minutes going through our presentation about the university um, to leave us with about 15 minutes or so at the end um, for as many questions as possible. Um, so you'll probably see on my little box there, it might say Jackie, but um, that's my colleague. My name is actually Ben. Um, I am um, a representative. I work as an international officer for the University of Roehampton, um, and we are based in London. Um, so I hope that I can explain um, a bit about the university, a bit about studying in the UK, um, and hopefully you'll find it informative. Um, so let's get started. Um, so University of Roehampton, what are we? Where are we? Um, so we are uh, based in London in the UK. Um, we are um, a campus university. So it's quite unique amongst um, London universities. Um, we have a 54 acre green Parklands campus. It's really beautiful with lots of um, Regency architecture. You can probably see in the picture there, kind of in the in the background, you'll see kind of a really beautiful old Regency building. Um, so it's a really kind of lush green, uh, beautiful campus that's really secure and safe. Um, but we are located still within the city of London. So um, we are about 25 to 30 minutes, depending on how the buses and trains are running um, from the center of London. So you can hop a train to Waterloo Station and walk right out and you'll be right at Big Ben in the London Eye. Um, we are top 10 university ranking in London. Um, and we have over 175 years of uh, university teaching experience, I suppose, at the university. So um, we actually have a really long, illustrious history. We were one of the first universities uh, in the UK to offer uh, uh, university and higher education to women. Um, so it, it's, it's a really um, kind of long history uh, of our university, but we have a lot of modern flares as well. Um, a bit more about the university. So we are an incredibly diverse university. So we have 141 nationalities represented on our campus. Um, so there's people from all over the world, all walks of life um, on campus, and it really makes for a really rich and vibrant um, community. Um, about 10% of our students are from overseas, so you wouldn't be alone being an international student. Um, there are students from all over. Um, whether it's close by countries um, in Europe or from the US, um, as far as China, Australia, um, there's India, students from all over. Uh, so it, it's, a, it's a really, really amazingly diverse campus. Um, by kind of UK standards, we're quite actually quite a small university. So we have about 8,000 students enrolled with us. Um, so that's across all, um, all departments and both undergraduate and postgraduate students. Um, so it really kind of aids in that community feel um, that I think is uh, that I was discussing when it terms uh, comes to the diversity of the campus. Um, we're also really proud of our academic departments. They really prepare students for the workplace. Um, you know, we're very proud of our um, of our employment rate. Ninety three percent of our graduates are in employment or further study within six months of graduation. Um, and of course, yeah, being in London, you are 
close to so many of the things that can really enrich your course. Um, so, you know, there are thousands of museums and galleries nearby, um, there's business centers nearby, there's the stock exchange nearby. Um, there's all different elements that, depending on whatever you're studying, um, can really enrich your course. Um, so it, it's, it's such a wonderful state to study in. Um, I myself actually was an international student in the UK. I'm originally from Massachusetts, Massachusetts in the US, um, but I've lived here in the UK for seven years now. Um, and I came over as a student and, and fell in love with the place. So um, I really encourage you to, to consider it if you're thinking about it. Um, just to kind of show you a little bit more about where we're located. Um, as I said, we're about 30 minutes from the center of the city. Um, so kind of in the center, you'll see Houses of Parliament, Tate Modern, Covent Garden, St. Paul's Cathedral, the Shard, Tower of London, all the kind of things that you think of when you think of central London or that are in the picture behind me. Um, and then you kind of see the green line there, that's the Thames, um, the, the river that runs through central London. And then if you look kind of in the bottom left, you'll see a little green building there. That's the University of Roehampton. We're located right on the edge of Richmond Park, um, not far from where Wimbledon takes place. Um, we have Wimbledon Common nearby and Putney Heath. Um, so there's lots of green open space nearby. Um, so it's quite a lush kind of green part of the city um, with lots of walking trails and open space. Um, but then with the two stations nearby, that'll zip you right into the center of the city. Um, so you can go for a walk in some woodland uh, over lunch and then go have uh, dinner on the Thames um, with a view of the London Eye, you know, uh, just <laughs> a few minutes later. So it, it's great. It's a really wonderful location. Um, as I said, we are a campus university. Um, so we have um, a 54 acre green Parkland campus, which you can see the map of here. Um, it is separated into colleges. So um, in the UK, you kind of have collegiate systems of universities. So we are a university, um, but then there are smaller colleges within the university. Kind of think of it like Harry Potter. You'll get sorted into a house. Um, you get sorted into a college when you arrive. Um, and that kind of is, gives you an extra small community um, that, that is yours, um, that, that you can meet friends and you can, um, you know, there's, there's often competitive um, events between the colleges. So we have Digby Stewart, Frobo College, Southlands College and Whitelands College. Um, so all of these are really, um, you know, really community based um, and give you an extra level uh, of community within your studies. Um, and you can also see, yeah, you can see we have the, the pond there, we have the sports facilities, um, we have gym on campus, um, we have, uh, you know, a very variety of cafes and um, the student union bar. So there's, there's a lot of social spaces as well. So a bit about our academics. Um, we have nine academic departments at the university. So there's the business school, there's our dance department, there's drama, theater, and performance, education, humanities, life sciences, media, culture, and language, psychology, and social sciences. I'll discuss through each of the faculties and a bit about them and a bit about their strong points um, as, we, as we move through the, the presentation. But it's also worth mentioning um, our research. So um, research is really important to Roehampton. Um, we really want to make sure that we are pushing out um, world leading and internationally excellent research. Um, so we are number one a new university in London for the quality of research. And we're the number one new university in the UK for research intensity. Um, what new university means is um, in the UK, you kind of have the old uh, they're called red brick institutions, which have been around for hundreds and hundreds of years. And then modern universities aren't actually that modern. Uh, most of them um, uh, are late 1800s, early, uh, early 1900s, um, but um, they're just sort of under a different category. Um, but of the new universities, which are most universities outside of those 10, um, we are the um, most research intensive. Um, and 66% of our research is rated world leading and internationally excellent. So this means that the academics that you're learning from are, um, you know, internationally known for their research and for their work, um, and you'll be learning from real world class academics. 
so what courses do we offer? I'm not going to read through them all because there's a whole list here, but you can kind of see within our departments um, the different types of courses that we offer. Um, I know a lot of students from the US are interested. Um, you know, we have a lot of students who do creative writing, English literature, um, history, life science related courses, psychology, media courses. Um, so there's a lot of options available for you. Um, so you can have a quick look and see uh, see what might suit you the most, but I can also go through to the departments a bit. We can discuss them in, in further detail. Um, it is worth noting, um, if you aren't overly familiar with the UK system of study, um, that in the UK, if you are going to be studying on a program, um, the programs are three years, not four years. Um, so you basically have a really intensive three years um, that are very uh, academically challenging, um, but very rewarding because um, unlike UK institution or US institutions rather, um, you're studying almost purely what you are there to study. So an example here, um, this is um, uh, zoology. So if a student was to choose a zoology program, you can see here in year one, you're doing elements of zoology, like chemistry, um, cell biology, diversity of life, um, it's kind of some biological science related courses. And then in year two, you have your a few required modules, and then you have a lot of optional modules. Um, and then in year three, you have a few three compulsory modules and then lots of optional modules. Um, so, but you can see everything is related to zoology. So if you were studying English literature in the UK or at our institution, you wouldn't have to take a science course or a maths course. If you're studying zoology, you don't have to take an English or a history course. Um, you're really focusing on the subject that you're here to study. So if you're really passionate about something um, and you know that that's what you want to study, it's a really great option for you because you don't have to take sort of the general education requirements um, or the 101s that you might take at a lot of US institutions. So I'll quickly talk through each of our departments now so you can have a quick um, bit of insight on what they're like. Um, so first I can talk about our business school. So our business school, it really um, our students learn to develop into business ready graduates um, and equip them to thrive in a complex and dynamic business environment. London is one of the business hubs of the world. Um, you have Canary Wharf in the city of London, the Bank of England, uh, the London Stock Exchange, all within a stone's throw at the university. Students get to go and visit these places, get to learn from professionals who work at them. We have a lot of um, exchange where our students get to come, um, where, where professionals working in these environments come and speak with our students, um, work with them on resumes, work with them on uh, placements for, for jobs. Um, so, I mean, in terms of business, you know, the UK, London is, um, is, is the hub of, of European business um, and, and, and also a hub of, of global business. Um, so it is a really wonderful place to be based um, to study business programs. Um, we have a variety of business management programs that tie in um, elements of finance or economics. Um, so there's a variety of different courses that you can take within the business department. The staff are very passionate, very wonderful people. I would highly recommend them. Um, dance, so this is quite a niche um, department, but also very, 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 very important to Roehampton. Um, so we are one of the top 10 universities for dance um, in, in the UK. Um, we also are, you know, um, considered to have uh, the best in the UK in terms of dance research. Um, so that's looking at things like dance anthropology, um, history of dance. Um, so it's not just all performance based. Um, so there's a lot of different options. We're also one of the only, um, we're the only UK institution that offers a BFA in dance. So that's a bachelor's of fine art in dance rather than just a bachelor's degree um, or a BA. Um, so if you're interested in studying dance, it's, it's an incredibly um, uh, passionate staff. Um, we have tie-ins with the, the Royal Ballet um, and a variety of, um, of programs and, and, and like the People Show, which is a, a big, big program in Southwest London. So there's a real passionate group on these courses. Um, once again, very passionate, very professional staff who've all worked as dancers or choreographers um, and aren't just uh, classroom theorists. They, they, they've really um, 
uh, gone out there and, 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 and experienced the world. Um, once again, in London, um, you have like Sadler's Wells Dance Theatre nearby, you have the Royal Ballet, um, there's a variety of dance performance all over London of all different types. Um, so you get to go and watch these shows as well, some of the best dance performances in the world as part of your degree. And that's also echoed in our drama, theater, and performance department. So if you're interested in theater, the West End of London is, you know, the equivalent of Broadway. Um, so you get to see some of the best, most creative, most innovative shows um, th that are being put on. Um, students get to go up and see shows. There's tickets to shows uh, that are free um, for students every Tuesday. I think it's called Theater Tuesdays and students can go go up and see these shows. Um, but then also the staff are also all working actors. They've worked in theaters or they've worked as stage managers or directors. Um, so once again, um, you know, there's, there's a real expertise in this field. Education. So the School of Education is known across the UK for its high quality teaching and research. Um, it's one of the most highly respected um, teacher education providers um, in, in the UK. Um, as I said, this our history is 175 years old and that began with education. Um, so uh, the Frobel College um, on our campus is, is one of the oldest providers of education training in the UK. Um, you know, and, and we're ranked as uh, you know the top university in London for education for that reason. Um, so it's a really, really wonderful, passionate staff. So if you're interested in teaching or in education studies, um, it's a really wonderful program that gets you out of the classroom as well. You get to experience um, you know elements of teaching on your course. Um, humanities. So um, you know if you're interested in studying human life, history, looking at um, uh, English language, creative writing, theology, um, culture, philosophy, all of these are within the humanities department. Um, our location is wonderful that, for this. We are um, located a stone's throw from the National Archive. Um, I'm a history gradu graduate myself and, and the access to the, the archive at Kew in London is, is one of the best in the world. Um, you know, it, I think it's the second largest archive collection in the world. Um, so you really have you know, real firsthand experience working with you know, real artifacts or um, with real documents. Um, our English and creative writing program is um, incredibly well respected. Um, there's wonderful staff churning out amazing work. We're also the home to the National Research Center for Children's Literature. Um, so all of these are included within the humanities department. Um, and there's a real sense of community within these courses. Um, they're located on our Digby Stewart College. Um, and it's just a real kind of passionate community uh, that works on these courses. Life sciences, so this is everything from anthropology to zoology, biomedical sciences, biological sciences. Um, all of these are um, have state-of-the-art labs and state-of-the-art um, uh, uh, places where, where research can be done um, and experiments can be performed. Um, there's amazing sports science labs if you're interested in sport, um, just with some absolutely amazing facilities. Um, these courses are all um, highly respected and accredited. Um, and there's a lot of out of classroom work on these as well. So there's opportunities for field trips to places like South Africa um, or other parts of Europe as well. Um, so yeah, the, they're real kind of, uh, there's also tie-ins yeah, with, with sports and exercise science as well, if you're interested in that, um, uh, nutrition and health as well. Um, so they're, they're really wonderful hands-on programs. Um, media, culture, and language. I went on too long because I know we have uh, limited time. Um, but uh, career-focused degrees um, designed to give you really great start in creative media industries. We have a wonderful new building called the Sir David Bell Building that opened just a few months ago that has amazing photo studios, um, newsrooms, editing suites. Um, there's a cinema in there um, with uh, digital media rooms as well. Um, so you'll have some of the best, most state-of-the-art equipment among any university in the UK because all of this is brand new. Um, so you're you know, learning from academics who have professional experience working in media. Um, once again, London is a media hub. Um, so you know, be able to visit media companies um, around London, whether that's BBC, ITV, Channel 4. Um, all of these are based in London. Um, there's a variety of film and photography studios all over London that you'll get to visit as part of these courses. Um, uh, 
so and there's internship opportunities working with you know some of the best news um, news uh, providers whether you're in journalism the newspapers in London as well um, so once again they're real practical courses where you'll get out of the classroom and it's not just going to be you know learning theory it's going to be learning how you can apply these skills to the real world and lastly, psychology. Um, psychology, um, there's kind of three arms of our psychology department. There's um, kind of pure research psychology, um, there's arts and play therapies, and then counseling psychology. Um, so, you know, 100% of our research is weighted, rated um, world leading or internationally excellent within our psychology department. Um, there's a real passionate staff here, um, you know, that, that you know, allow you to kind of focus on the areas that are most interest to you, whether that's mental health, um, psychotherapy, um, forensic psychology, there's all different elements, sports psychology. Um, so I would highly recommend if you're interested in psychology to have a look through those because there's um, quite, quite a lot of interesting courses for you to look at. Last one, social sciences. Um, so our diverse social sciences community, that's looking at things like law, criminology, um, sociology, um, all of these, you know, give you kind of a real um, understanding of, of kind of human rights, um, looking at, um, you know, how uh, human people are placed within legal systems. It gives you a real good overview of the UK law system, which actually is the basis of, um, of law systems all over the world. Um, uh, most of the world uses kind of a UK based law system. Um, so it's really kind of gives you real practical element there but then also you know looking at critical thinking skills and what's needed to be a kind of a global citizen and effectively um you know create social change um you know we're one of the best in the uk for impact on social science research um so they're, they're really wonderful programs okay so now that we've gone over the departments, what's the university like? Um, so college life, the ethos of Roehampton is based on social justice and equality. Um, it is such a warm and welcoming community. Um, because we are a bit smaller, and because we're incredibly diverse, um, you always get to meet people from all over the world. Um, you know, but there's so many opportunities as well, whether that's sports, volunteering, uh, whether you're interested in nightlife or the chaplaincy or societies, there's all sorts of things available. Um, it's a real community that's incredibly diverse um, and really focuses on, you know, putting everyone on an equal playing field um, and, and really, you know, pushing, um, I suppose, pushing for change within the community as well. Um, you know, we have a really active, um, you know, very uh, passionate group of students who, um, you know, want to want to affect social change. And, and, and it, it really shows within the work that's created by our students. Um, the Roehampton Students' Union is worth mentioning. Um, UK institutions always have a students' union, um, and I think Roehampton has one of the best ones. I've worked at other UK institutions, and Roehampton Students' Union is incredibly passionate. Um, so what the student union will do is they will, A, fight for students um, for anything that they need within the university, um, but also um, bring in the social side and bring in the fun, because that's part of university as well. It's not all studies. We want you to have a good time. Um, you can see that here, this is one of our, um, our big events that we do in May every year. Um, there's the big stage there where we have um, uh, you know, some really quite big UK bands and, and artists come and perform for our students. Um, there's kind of, sometimes there's fairgrounds and merry-go-rounds here and all sorts. Um, so it's a really quite a fun environment to, to be in. Um, there's also a fair at the beginning of the year as well called Freshers' Fair. Um, so there's a variety of kind of fun social events, um, but there's also 40 plus social clubs for you to join. Um, lots of different sports societies that I can talk about as well. Um, you can see we have competitive sports on campus, but also social sports. So if you're interested in competitive sports, there's all of the ones listed here, um, but there's also, um, you know, non-social, non-competitive sports rather. So um, if you're interested in yoga or just going to the gym, or if you're interested in doing um, any of the sports listed here, but just as more of a social thing rather than a competitive thing, that's all part um, available on the universities as well. Um, we have facilities for all of these sports on campus or, you know, within stone's throw of the university. Um, so we really, really encourage students to get involved if you're interested in competitive sport. 
or if you're interested in esports, we're actually one of we have the largest esports arena of any UK university. We also offer esports scholarships. Um, I think we're also the first UK institution to offer an esports scholarship for women. Um, so it's it's a really um, kind of exciting time for esports on campus as well. So if you're interested in gaming and esports, um, there's a huge active community on campus for you. Now, accommodation. Um, so obviously we know that, you know, if you're coming from the US, um, you'll want accommodation. Our accommodation is really, really wonderful. Um, so, you know, all of the universities located on the campus, so it's really safe and secure. Um, also, uh, you know, it's, it's affordable compared to other um, accommodation within London. Um, I also think as a US student, I was shocked when I came to the UK and found out that you pretty much never have to share a room. Um, so all, all of our rooms are um, single rooms. Um, some have their own bathroom, some have a shared bathroom with one or two other people. Um, and typically you'll have a shared kitchen with about six people. So you'll have kind of a mini apartment um, with a social um, social space and a kitchen. Um, and then you'll have your own room where you can shut the door if, if you need to get some work done or you want some quiet time, um, which is great. Um, you can see here kind of the variety of different housing that we have it depends on the how much you want to spend so there's really modern very sleek ones um, and then there's kind of um, you know more standard accommodation but they're all of really good quality um, it depends on where you're studying as well so if you are doing drama humanities or social sciences we would typically recommend to be Stewart um, Frobel College which is where dance and education we would typically recommend these the housing on the right there um, and then we have Southlands and Whitelands, um, where we have a variety of good accommodation as well. Um, so if that's if you're doing business or life science and psychology. Um, all of these colleges are all within the campus still. So you can walk from Whitelands to Southlands in about 10 minutes. So um, all of them are still <laughs> touch each other. They're all, you know, quite, quite close by. Um, but it does give you kind of a little small sense of community um, uh, within the colleges themselves. Um, but the accommodations are of really good quality and, and, and quite affordable, depending on how much you want to spend, um, you know, within within a good range. Um, I'll quickly touch on COVID. Um, I know, obviously, it's changed the way that we've been doing a lot of things lately. Um, we are still on campus. Um, so um, the situation in the UK right now is, um, you know, it's been quite stable over the summer. Um, which has allowed us to have welcome to students onto campus this um, just a, a, about a week ago, we had students start arriving on campus. Um, so we have kind of a blended approach to learning that's happening right now where students are doing some online elements for their larger classes, but then doing in person teaching for their smaller ones. Um, and also at the moment we're kind of giving students flexibility to study online fully if they're more comfortable doing that. Um, there's great social distancing measures within um, within the university, once again, having that green space in that open campus um, really makes a big difference. It's not like a lot of other London institutions where it's a building here and a building there. Um, you know, we're all within a, an enclosed green space that's quite airy and open. Um, so it's, it's uh, yeah, and, and, and US students can still come to the UK. Um, you'll just need to quarantine when you arrive. Hopefully by the time that you choose to come, whether that's next year or the year after, that won't be the case. But um, at the moment, that's what, that's where things stand. Um, it is also worth mentioning that we do have scholarships. So we have merit-based scholarships, um, alumni referral scholarships, um, music scholarships, sporting scholarships. Um, so there's a lot of options available for scholarships. Um, I always say if you're doing a UK degree, you can do three years undergraduate plus a year's master. Um, so you can have a master's degree in four years. When all your friends are graduating, you can say, I already have a master's degree. Um, and when you do that, um, when you move from the undergraduate to the master's program, you can become an alumni. So you can get a 20% discount on your master's degree. So it's a really great option if you want to, if you're kind of cost conscious. Um, speaking of cost, what are our fees? So our bachelor's degree costs um, £13,145 per year. So that's about $16,347, um, depending on the program that you're choosing. Um, we estimate that the total cost of tuition and living expenses, and um, this is by the UK VI, which is the, the U United Kingdom um, visa compliance um, uh, government arm. Um, they, uh, they estimate that the average cost for a student in the UK is about $35,000 per year. 
but we do accept FAFSA. So you can study in the UK using your undergraduate um, funding that you would use at any other US institution. Um, and once again, that cost um, is for three years, not four years. So you're saving yourself a full year of tuition. So you're saving yourself $35,000 um, compared to you know, what you might spend at some US institutions. Um, so it, it is a good option if you're, if you're cost conscious. You can do the three-year program, have your bachelor's degree, um, and have spent you know, uh, considerably less money. Now, how do you apply? Um, so um, all you, anyone from the US is um, welcome to apply to the university directly for free. Um, so you can complete an online application directly on our website. Um, the link is there, rohampton.ac.uk forward slash how to apply. Um, you can apply there. You can fill out an online form um, and send that off at any time. Um, so you don't need to have your final marks yet. Um, you can get that sent in um, and we can make what's called a conditional offer. Um, so if we, um, you know, we could say you're welcome to join us as long as you get the GPA that we require for the course. Um, so it's quite nice because it means that you have kind of a soft offer um, quite early um, and you can have that at any time. You can apply for 2021 now. Um, so uh, we encourage students to do that because it's free and it's pretty straightforward. You can do it in you know half an hour or so. Um, and um, you'll just need to work on your personal statement. Obviously that takes more than half an hour, but once it's all ready to go, um, uh, you can send that off. Um, and also you can apply via UCAS. So if you're thinking of coming to the UK, but you're not sure which university you want to study at, um, you can use UCAS, which is kind of a, um, it's used by all UK institutions. Um, and you can um, do the application through UCAS. Um, it's one application that goes to all five universities and then they all make decisions from there. So there's either way you can apply. Um, they're both pretty straightforward, but if you're thinking Roehampton definitely, then the, the direct application is usually the easiest way. Um, I'll quickly talk about our entry requirements. So for um, US students, we would usually expect a minimum GPA of between a 2.8 and a 3.0, depending on the course that you're studying on. Um, SAT and ACT are optional, um, but SAT subject tests or AP exams are required if you're applying to life sciences or English and creative writing. Um, if you happen to be doing an IB program, we would expect around a 40. Um, and then if you uh, are sorry about a 30, um, 40 would be really high 30. Um, and then uh, dance um, is our only course that requires an audition. So that's either an in-person audition or a video um, to be sent in. Obviously, if you're in the US, it's probably easier to do the video. Um, so we can send the details on how that, that if you're interested in applying for dance. Okay, so I think I've gone on for a little over half an hour now. Um, so we have a bit of time now to go over any questions. Um, I guess lastly, I'll say thanks for uh, taking the time to, to um, come to the session. I hope you found it helpful and informative. Um, you can see my information here um, on the top there. And then below, you'll see my colleague Jackie, which is what my name says below me. Um, Jackie is our regional manager for North America. She's actually based in the US rather than in the UK like I am. Um, so she's um, kind of more within your time zone. Um, so if you need to reach out to anyone, she's probably your best point of contact. Um, but you can, of course, get in touch with me directly if you have any questions as well. Um, so I'll have a quick look at the Q&A box. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, feel free to type in any questions now. We have a few minutes. Um, I can see someone here has asked what the GPA requirement is. Um, so yeah, as mentioned, um, it'd be about a minimum of a 2.8 um, to a 3.0, depending on the course that you are studying. Um, but most of the courses, if you're within that range, um, uh, then you should be fine or higher. Um, we also have merit-based scholarships, depending on kind of further up. So if you are higher than that, and um, it could, lead to a discount on your fees, which is great. Um, so um, yeah, we definitely like to consider students that are higher, but um, yeah, if you're at a minimum of a 2.8, that should be fine. Any other questions about studying in the UK or about um, Roehampton itself, um, feel free to type them in. Um, we have a few minutes here, so I'm happy to, happy to answer any that come through.
Um, so I have a question here that says, if you're from the US and you get a scholarship that is based um, in the US, does it qualify for the UK? Um, it would need, you would need to probably look at the terms and conditions of each particular scholarship. Most should be fine. Um, we, find we have plenty of students who use um, a variety of different scholarships for their courses. Um, I guess it would just depend. Um, there might be a few scholarships that have particular terms about where, where the money is spent. Um, but yeah, we, we welcome students to accept a, a variety of different scholarships. Um, so just check the terms and condition of each, of each individual one that you're considering applying for. Um, but most would be accepted. And as I mentioned, we have a variety as well. So, um, yeah, if, if you have a um, you know, good GPA, um, if you um, have, you know, sports experience or music experience, um, or if you know, or if you're an alumni, or if you wanted to progress to a master's program, there's a variety of different discounts available. Um, so we can always send details on that after your application as well. And we let people know about the merit scholarships when they apply. So, um, you know, as soon as you send in your results um, and you get your final offer letter, um, the university lets you know if you've been granted a merit scholarship. Yes, so there's a question here now asking um, students need visas, if I'm not mistaken, does the school help with that? So yes, um, you will need a visa to, to study in the UK. It's called a tier four visa. Um, the process, um, the, the university will help you with the full process. Um, we have specific uh, members of staff who are their whole job is to help students with student visas. Um, the process normally would start, um, you know, uh, if you were coming in September, usually um, like May, June time, you would get something, um, you put in an application with us um, for something called a CAS, um, which is a, 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 num a unique number that the university grants to you um, after you've committed to studying with us. Um, and that number is then used for your visa application. Um, and we, um, we provide full um, advice on how the process is done. Um, as I mentioned, my colleague Jackie's in the US as well. So she's you know, a specialist in knowing how it works from the US, particularly. Um, I'm from the US, I was on a tier four visa at one point. It's, it's a pretty straightforward process, um, uh, particularly being from the US because you don't have any language barriers or anything like that. Um, so yeah, we, we provide full support with that. Are there any other questions this time? No. Okay, well, yeah, I think we'll probably start to wrap it up then. But thanks so much, everyone, for joining. Um, I really hope you found the, the session useful. Um, and as I said, yeah, feel free to get in touch with um, either myself or Jackie if you have any further questions down the line about how to apply or, or anything else about the university. Thank you all so much for joining. There will be a quick survey when you close your screen. Uh, again, you'll have a recording available in about a week, and you can also sign up at more, for more sessions at IACAC.org. Thank you all so much, and I hope you have a great day or a great rest of your night. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye.